Let's talk very quickly about a little indie title called Deadland. I was just browsing on through PlayStation's network looking for any new titles and this kind of caught my eye. It's only $2.99. I didn't really think that much of it. thought this was probably going to be crap or maybe it'll actually be good. Let's take a look at it. It's a zombie survival game. In fact, I forget what it says about it. Uh, in terms of its um, in terms of its features, huh? Nice to know that uh, gaining extra life is considered a feature now in a video game. Stunning graphics and special sound effects and music for a two ninety nine game. That's a feature. Okay, and what it is? It's it's an arcade on rail survival game is really all it is is you don't control your own movement you're just immediately bolting through these areas that are littered with zombies and everything is very dark everything looks fine for what it is but it's obviously you know just just, just very simple models are obviously used and more than likely a lot of the backgrounds are just pre-rendered backgrounds because you can semi control your movement I and mean, you can't really you know control when you stop running or anything like that or even your speed but you can tilt from left to right and you know you can look around but looking around kind of feels irrelevant, I guess, for only when you're aiming. But when you first start out, you don't even start out with a weapon. You're completely weaponless. And the goal of it is to see really how far you can get before you die. You know, if you'll bump into a zombie because you get, like, one hit. If you bump into a zombie once, you die. But depending on how far you get, you earn money. And you can unlock weapons. Well, supposedly the first weapon is already unlocked, and I, and, and I like how it says that the weapon is bide. Not bought or purchased or anything like that. Bide. Pretty sure that's not a word. But anyway. And even the axe has a charge to it. Where when you eventually get it and you know you pick up weapons by getting to loot drops, which are lit by torches. And they only have a certain number of uses. And the axe has no sound effect for just when you're just using it. Uh, it does for when you're hitting your enemies, but every enemy has the same animation to them and has the exact same sound effect to them. This is basically a very, very low budget game, and that should be obvious by the fact that, it, that it's a $3 game. Which. I would forgive if the game had a little bit more going for it than what it does, and it doesn't. Uh, it's incredibly monotonous, it's not that interesting. The fact that the game has you on a rail in the first place, where you don't control that you're moving constantly, which kind of screws up the whole intended survival patch in there to begin with and then the fact that a lot of the loot drops can be random depending on what you bought with your money like I got to a point where I bought the pistol but even then the axe feels more powerful because you can kill an enemy with one swipe whereas you have to shoot a zombie at least twice with the pistol and the environments are at least random when they start up brand new but still, it's kind of irrelevant because it's just a map that you're just running through. <clears throat> and the character models look like crap. It's a pretty below average game. When I rated this after I played it and deleted it, and I only played it for probably about 12 minutes because that's only about as much as what I could stand. 
Uh, I rated this on their system as about a two-star game, because it's not broken. It does work. But in terms of enjoyability, no. Uh, don't play this. Don't buy it. Uh, it's a morbid curiosity, I mean, that's for sure, but there's probably better titles. There was one that I thought about looking at, but it was going for twice more. It was going for like 25 bucks. I think it's called uh, Infernum or something like that. It's a first-person game, uh, first-person puzzle type game, but I don't know about that. Uh, anyway... You know, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd appreciate it. Um, thankfully, I've been feeling a lot better lately over the last couple of days after just a lot of sleep and taking a lot of medicine. So, just trying to take it easy. So, hope you guys enjoy. See you next time.